Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. So in this video I would like to explain the Gibbs phase rule which is used to making a relationship between the number of phases and the effect of the variables onto the different kind of compositions of the metallic structure. So basically this will be help for understanding the different kind of phases at the different kind of setup conditions. So this rule is established by J. Wilbert Gibbs in 1876. So the Gibbs studied onto the relationship between the number of phases and the effect of the variables. So that will be the two important part phase and variables. So the variables such as pressure, temperature and composition or you can say concentration or you can say in simple way weight percentage of compositions. So it will be making a one kind of relation over here P plus F that should be equal to C plus 2. So the intimation of the P and that will be P is representing as a number of phases into system. So we already study about the systems in my previous lecture. So system is nothing but that will be the one kind of isolated body of the matters. Second F. So F representing as a number of variables or you can say degree of freedom. Capital C which will be act as a number of elements. And two. So generally it will be depends upon the variables amongst the three. So here it will be the mainly three variables like pressure, temperature and compositions. So that's why it will be taken as a two. So if you want to learn in details terminology of the system, degree of freedom, number of component systems, different kind of phases, so you will find a link in my description box. So this first equation that will be P plus F is equal to C plus 2, it will be for the three variables like pressure, temperature and compositions. But in general all the equilibrium diagrams are studied at constant pressure process. So these rules it will be modified as P plus F that will be equal to C plus 1 because in initially 2 is represent at any two variables amongst 3. Now it will be only two variables like temperature and second one it will be the compositions. So it will be taken as a 1 over here. So finally P plus F is equal to C plus 1 or you can say that it will be the modified Gibbs rule. So which will be held to make a relation between the number of phases and the effect of the variables. So that this phase rules helps to determine the maximum number of the phase it will be present in an alloy system or you can say binary alloy system under the equilibrium conditions at the any point into the phase diagram. So at the different set of conditions of the temperature and compositions which kind of phase and how many phase is being present into the different system of the binary metallic alloy. So I hope so you understand the Gibbs phase rule. So if you like this then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.